Welcome back, everybody. This Week in America, website thisweekinamerica.us. Thank you for joining us on the program. As mentioned, our guest on the show is Dennis Knezovich. He's the author of the book Against All Odds. It's a book about defeating odds, achieving success, overcoming obstacles in life. Dennis, thank you so much for joining us on the program. It's great to have you with us. Looking forward to talking about the book Against All Odds. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. This really, as I mentioned, is a book where you are overcoming all odds, against all odds, the appropriate name of the book. And let's go back and talk about the the birth, because it's really at that point where a lot of these obstacles began. You were born in what at the time was Yugoslavia in 1986, born a couple months early and diagnosed with cerebral palsy. Talk about that in the early early stages of your life. Well, I... As I talk about in the book, I was in an incubator for a few months and had a life-saving blood transfusion. And then it took, I think, a couple of years until my parents were able to find somebody who could diagnose me all the way in Zagreb in what's now Croatia the capital of Croatia. Yeah, and during that time, you were exposed to uh, a number of countries, uh, foreign languages. Talk about that. I know at one point you you even had acupuncture treatment. Talk about the treatment that you went through the, those first couple of years because uh, uh, some of it was quite painful, wasn't it? Yes, obviously it's painful to have acupuncture treatment. That's really all I remember about it, that it was painful and that it was eventful to go there and full of hope. And as I again talk about in my book, it didn't help me walk, but it did seem to cure a breathing problem that I had early on. So, Talk about those, those early years, and I mentioned exposed to, to foreign languages. Talk about that impact, because obviously it gave you this foundation for having a a real understanding of of different cultures living in different countries. Yes, we went to Switzerland, where my father has has family, and my mother, she, she was the daughter of a Yugoslav diplomat who worked in Germany at the embassy there in Frankfurt and we ended up in Germany later on and so I really I really became very aware of of the different countries and how how to treat people as humans no matter where they're from and that's completely the opposite from from what what impressions I was getting back home because the country was falling apart in the civil war and there were these hatreds based on religion and ethnicity and I moved away from that and learned the opposite approach. Well, we're talking about the new book, Against All Odds. With us on the program is the author, Dennis Knezovich. The website, to, the best one to go to is just facebook.com slash Dennis Knezovich 1. And I'm going to spell that for you. Dennis is with one N, D-E-N-I-S-K-N-E-Z-O-V-I-C. And you can link on directly to our website, uh, by the way, thisweekinamerica.us, and, and get to uh, the Facebook page for Dennis. A lot of great information there, information on the book, which is available all across the country. It's a very inspirational book. And it's interesting in, in, in talking about those early years, because you were really exposed to religious differences and how they divide people, and certainly something that's been in the news recently. This was something you grew up with and living in the midst of this. Yes, well, my, the city where I'm from, Moscow, is divided now between Croats and Croatian Catholics on the one side, which is my dad's side, and 
Muslims on the other side, which is my mother's side. Although the Catholics are much more religious, really, my mother's side, there's not many religious people, so. But we didn't talk much about religion in my early childhood, if at all. The book is called Against All Odds. Uh, again, the information you can go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, or go to Dennis's Facebook page, and that's facebook.com slash Dennis Knezovich, and that's uh, K-N-E-Z-O-V-I-C. And uh, one, by the way, one at the end of that at Facebook, and get the information. In the early years, you were exposed to U.S. culture. I understand as you were going for early treatments, you uh you were able to watch the ninja uh, mutant ninja ninja turtles uh, turtles, yes. and then uh, exposed to MTV at an early age as well. So you had some experience with the U.S. Yes, it always seemed like like the ideal place. <laughs> this kind of perfect world where everything was modern and advanced, that's how I viewed the U.S. early on, and, and it was for a long time my dream to come here. And we'll talk about that. I, I want to go back to some of those early years and the obstacles you had to overcome. Uh, you were basically a war refugee at one point, correct? Yes. Talk a little bit about that and maybe relate it to what you see in the news now, where we're seeing a, a number of war refugees. Uh, and unfortunately, it's difficult to find placement. People want to do the right thing, but, but, but it's difficult. Talk about what you went through. And that was at a young stage in your life, the impact that had on you. Yes. Well, first, we went to therapy in Hungary because we didn't know where else to go and there we met people from all over the world mostly from Europe, but also from other places and Then we met the German family and they gave us the idea to go to Germany and uh, as I said my mother had already been there since my grandfather was working at the embassy and she grew up there so she knew the language and everything that was perfect at the time although it, it was always difficult because germany doesn't isn't really a, a country of immigrants although that's somewhat changing with what you hear in the news lately about the Syrian crisis. They've taken in record numbers of Syrian refugees, but at that point they just wanted to keep the people in for as short a time as possible and then move them back to their countries. Dennis Knezovich, our guest on the program. The book we're talking about is Against All Odds. Information at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. It's a fascinating story of achieving success in the midst of a, a number of incredible obstacles diagnosed at a young age with cerebral palsy. You really, and in the book you talk about the, the surgery and the expense of the surgery and, and how that was covered, but how you kept fighting this. I mean, you, you studied martial arts. You were in the bicycle races, that, that type of thing. You really decided what at an early age, this I'm not going to let this get me down. I am actually going to get out and and, and be part of uh, be part of the world. That's what the therapy in Hungary was all about to let the kids be independent to to let them function in the real world, not to be sealed off just as disabled people, disabled children, but to be part of the real world and get involved and do things by themselves as much as possible. Get involved in everything that other kids and other people get involved in. You were able to do that successfully and, and along the way picked up this love of soccer. And you say in the book, Against All Odds, 
soccer really sort of even shapes who you are today, this love of, of soccer. How important was that, especially in the early years, to to get you through what were difficult times trying to overcome these obstacles? Well, my love of soccer is, is always is very prevalent in the book, and it, it shaped who I am today because because I still follow it and I, I'm still a fervent supporter of Bayern Munich, my favorite team. And as strange as it might sound, I always, I, I always look at events that happened in my life and, and coincide them with events of soccer and politics. That's how I. That's how I keep track of my life, really, and that's why soccer and also politics is very prevalent in the book. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm sure if you mention various uh, soccer events over the course of your life, you could talk about what was happening uh, politically and happening in your life at the time, and you will find that in the book against all odds. In uh, November of 2000, you come to the United States. Uh, talk about that, because once you got here, there were some difficult times here. I know the middle school was, and I guess they sort of what put you in a category, underestimated your your ability, and it wasn't until high school that you really were able to to blossom. Yes, exactly. Well, I was in middle school for only a few months, for half a year, thankfully, because it was a terrible, terrible place, to be honest. And... They underestimated me, and for the first time I, in my life, I really got to feel that I'm not, not really normal, that I have this disability and that I have to be in a wheelchair and things like that. You know, it's interesting because as you're, you're working through the, the physical part of, uh, of cerebral palsy and you've got the, the walker and you're, you're able to get around, you have educators here in the, in the U.S., in the school system in particular, that's sort of making a judgment not just based on what they see physically, but, but mentally as well. It, it was really almost holding you back, wasn't it? At the beginning, yes. It wasn't really until, until college where I was completely free, where I, I was no longer judged by anyone but seen as an equal again. Yeah, all in the book, Against All Odds, uh, rapidly running out of time. So many obstacles, so many challenges that you face and overcame. Let's talk about uh, the early college, and then we'll talk about ending up getting the degree. Talk about uh, that period of your life, and you were what fighting depression as well during these years. Yes, depression it was a difficult time. I had all these symptoms, cognitive symptoms seemingly and I I was really scared and came to look up things online about brain tumors and things like that because to me the symptoms seemed like that and and I always went to these neurologists and doctors instead of going to psychologists to treat my depression, which it really was. And How do you overcome something like that? You have been through, were at that point in time, had gone through so many different obstacles during the course of your life, and now you're, you're a young adult and, and, and you're facing depression. How do, you go th- how do you get through a period like that? Well, it was a time of, of very fortunate circumstances. I met my girlfriend online and she helped me through a lot at, at the exact, at the most important time in my life. She was there and, and my parents kept pushing me to get back to school and to, to finish my degree, to get my degree and 
Well, it's interesting, uh, and you're listening to This Week in America. Our website is thisweekinamerica.us. Information, of course, on our website about our guest on the program, Dennis Knezovich. His book is called Against All Odds. Dennis is D-E-N-I-S. The last name is K-N-E-Z-O-V-I-C. Uh, Facebook is the best place to follow Dennis, and it's uh, Dennis Knezovich one And you get all that information at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. One of the final chapters in the book is is talking about new beginning. Talk about that because you were able to overcome all of the obstacles we talk about, walk away with uh, with a degree, and working now on, on writing other books. Talk about that new beginning, what that the impact that had on you. The new beginning is a very appropriate title for the last chapter in the book because I really begin again living a normal life, going to college again because I took a year off because of my severe depression and I had to go back and really start again. Talk a little bit about it. In a couple minutes left in the program, I mentioned you you get a degree in, in history, writing other books, working on historical fiction, uh, working now on uh, a book based in the early 20th century, rural Oklahoma. Talk about what your life ha- has meant and the perspective, perspective it gives you today. You are looking at uh, the headlines in the United States and, and worldwide with all of the problems, and you see everything that you've been through including a lot of the situations we talk about today, the, the religious differences creating, in, in some cases, actual wars, going through a, a war refugee. Talk a little bit about what you see politically happening in the country in your perspective, because you've actually, unlike most people reading a newspaper or listening to a candidate forming an opinion, you've actually been there. It's very sad, I think, how divisive these issues are today and how difficult it is to get through to people that that these immigrants are people too and they're fleeing ISIS and they're fleeing these terrible terrible problems that that America is taking on. They're not part of the problem. They they are against it and they're fleeing it fleeing away from it. And so, if you're asking my opinion, I would say that, of course, there should be a major vetting process and all of that, but that once that is complete, that people, a certain number of refugees should be able to come in. The book is an excellent read. It's called Against All Odds. It's a story, as I say, about Achieving success in the midst of a number of incredible obstacles, starting with a diagnosis early in life of uh, cerebral palsy. Our guest on the program is Dennis Knezovich. The book is available Amazon all across the country. You can link onto our website this week in America to get the information. Go directly to uh, Dennis's Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Dennis, D-E-N-I-S. Knezovich, K-N-E-Z-O-V, as in Victor, I-C-1, and you'll get all the information there. Uh, Dennis, thank you so much for sharing all of this. It is a fascinating life. Uh, the book is about defeating odds. It's a motivational book for people to uh, to read, something to inspire to because of what you've gone through. And, and best of luck in, the, uh, in the, the books you're working on now. It's been great to have you with us on the program. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're listening to This Week in America. Our author on the program today, Dennis Knezovich. The book is called Against All Odds. Information available at our website, thisweekinamerica.us.